is Adam. My story is very horrifying and very real. This all started with a bad dream. I don't know what happened, but I'm screwed. If anyone can hear this, please help. So, it all starts when I, got, when I just get off work. I got home and went to bed. It's, it started, I started to drift off to sleep, and I'm very scared. Even though I'm out of this situation already, but it's still a scary to think of. After drifting off to sleep, I dreamt I was in a forest. A nice snowy forest. It was pleasant, it was very pleasant and beautiful. I always love going out in the forest. But there was a shadow. Not like one I was making, but a shadow person. I ran after it to see what was happening and ran. I chased after it and I kept chasing after it. Until I saw a cave. I looked away and looked back. The shadow person was there standing in front of me. I looked back, back again to the shadow person, it was gone. I looked away one more time, I looked back, it was a house. It was the house I was going to buy. I didn't buy it yet, so curiously, I walked up to it. I touched the handle, and all of a sudden, I was in, I was in, a, I was in nowhere. A bleak, a void of I saw a flash of lightning in the abyss, and then I woke up. So scared, drenched in sweat, I decided to go and get some water. At this point, it was like 3 a.m. My wife woke up next to me and said, what's wrong? I said, just a bad dream, and I went back to bed. After that, I had a normal dream. Next day I went to work, grabbed the coffee, and had finished fixing up the files I had to give to corporate. I work at a very high up building in the city. The next day, I expected to have the same dream, but I didn't. My wife started acting weird. Very weird. I asked her what was wrong, but she just snapped at me and told me it's none of my business, so I just trapped it up as woman troubles. No offense to any women. I went to make me a sandwich. And during that time, I fell asleep after eating the sandwich, of course. When I woke, I fell asleep. And in my dream, I was awake in my house. The house that we're fixing to leave for a new one. In my dream, I walked over my bed and fell asleep. In my dream. But I wasn't dreaming in my dream. I was just looking as if I was the, the second person in the room looking at my body. So, it was kind of like I was in POV mode, if you would call it that. But, then... I was not the second person anymore. I was I had my eyes closed. When I opened them, I was there again. The bleak nothingness. Only this time, I saw a door. The lightning struck. Somehow, I couldn't move. I tried my best and I screamed, but nothing happened. Until, until I started being able to move again, so I, I swam like I was in water. Then I reached the wall. It was a door. I was like, this is my way out. But it didn't open. I turned around and it was a cage. I was in a cage. I was literally in a cage like a dog. But I wasn't the only one. I looked all around me and there were similar cages to mine. Millions of them. Millions of people trapped just like me. Slowly, slowly being tortured. But from my point of view, they were staring off into space. But then, 
actual static. Not like static sounds, but when your TV is not working correctly and you have that static, that's what I saw. Then I woke up for real. I didn't feel good. I threw up from all the horror that I saw, but I told myself it was just a dream. Got up for breakfast. My wife apologized, and I said it is no big deal. And I went to work. Came back. I was too scared to go to sleep, so I drank several energy drinks and stood up. Fell asleep at dawn. Woke up. Didn't have a bad dream. Fast forward a couple of months later, I had the best day ever. I, we got our house, the new house. I got promoted. Since we only now, since we now live on the outside of town, we're still not that far, but I went. I was having the best day ever. I even had a wonderful dinner with my beautiful wife, and we had the best conversation ever. Later, we went to the bedroom, but I won't be. You know what we did, you know? But anyways, I fell asleep. I just imagined. I woke up one day to my wife cooking me breakfast, and I went in there. When she turned around, it was horrifying. Her face looked like it was melting, like slime. It was melting, but how? I closed my eyes and rubbed them, and she looked normal. She's like, baby, what's wrong? I said nothing. Fast forward a couple days later. My neighbor, who usually waves at me during my drive to work, I wave back. But I looked back, his head was missing. His body was still alive, but his head was missing. I shook my head in confusion, and he was still missing. I don't know what's going on. And it's like I was on acid, but I've never done drugs in my life. Not, not even once. I won't even take painkillers. I rubbed my eyes again, and everything was back to normal. I thought I was hallucinating, but I don't know. Maybe it was my lack of sleep. I drove to work, got everything done, later that night I went home, when I opened my front door, it was like thousands upon thousands of gallons of blood filled up the house and poured out on me. I fell back. When I looked up, my wife was asking me, am I okay? There was no blood anywhere when I looked again. Something was going on. I didn't know what was happening. So I went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth. And stop my mouth when I turned around, boom. The cage wall that I was holding on to was there. I screamed, I screamed so loud, and then I looked up, it was gone. I said enough. So I went to therapy. Thirty thousand thirty dollars an hour. Fuck that shit. But I had to go. And I just said I was just having after effects of my nightmare. She said, just give it a couple days and I'll be fine. Alright. I trust her. Went back home, gave my wife a kiss, had dinner. But in the middle of me eating my burger, maggots, maggots filled up my mouth, and I was I couldn't spit it out. They were crawling down my throat, and then I looked down, it was all gone. What is happening? Is it drugs? Have I been secretly doing them even for myself? Am I just hallucinating from my brain tripping out for these nightmares? What is going on? I have no idea what's happening. As I kept going, something happened. I fell. I fell. But I didn't fall down on the ground. I, I, I was supposed to. But I fell into an empty void. This time all white. Then, as if someone pulled the light, it went to black. I was there again. I don't know what's happening. Someone needs to help me now. I started freaking out having a panic attack. All of my eyes. Again. I was on the floor of my house. Then I heard a laugh. I said, who are you? I looked around and I couldn't see no one. My house. It fell apart. It fell apart. The door fell down. The walls were crumbling. But there was one man just standing there. He was a tall, slender man. Not like the creepy pasta, like 
a skinny guy, but he had all black clothes on. His eyes were glowing yellow. He tipped his head and says, Well, what does this look like to you? I said, Who are you? What's going on? What does this look like to you? It looks like my house that you busted up. <laughs> he giggled. He said, Your house? You think you're in the real world. Hey, you never left. He snapped his fingers. I was in the cage. I never left the cage. I was just like everyone else. I was stuck here. Why? How did I not know this? Then I looked back. Every single point, everything shifting and glitching, was my mind telling me that this wasn't real. The man walked up to me and told me, you never leave, and you, you will never leave. You never left. I just put you in a world, but something's wrong. You're different. Your brain is not submitting, which means you are pure. Maybe I can use you to make my power stronger. So I punched him in his face, and I tried to bust through the door, but I couldn't do it. Just when I thought it was going to rip out my soul with this weird knife type object. It was like a knife, but it was made out of slime. Slime that isn't dripping or mushing. He literally could cut anything with this slime knife. Just when I thought I was going to die. A beam of light hit me. The man just dis disappeared and I woke up. In a hospital. My wife told me... I was in a coma, and I was, she was just happy I was okay, but she told me I wrote down these numbers in my sleep, 926, 926, 926, I couldn't believe it, it was a year, 926, but this was not in 2006, but... It was wrong. Suck it, huh? Second month. The ninth. The sixth of the, of the second month, 2009. That is my 20th birthday. But I woke up. Fast forward a couple months later. So, it's finally my birthday. I was scared. I fell, when I fell asleep, I didn't get trapped in. Although I did wake up with a strange message. It was on paper. It, it read, You're safe for now, but I will return. And I will have you. And then, the note was gone. A couple years later, I am now 25 years old, I have not been in the cage again. But it's in the back of my mind, you know? Will I return? Who knows? That's my story. Don't get trapped there.